how's everyone doing? Um, thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed recently and press like and all that thing. And yeah, we're back to normal merchandise. Uh, back to normal um, on the farm. It feels like anyway. So first things first, I'm taking some cattle in. Andy and Connor are going to be feeding up, uh, and then we're going to be building a new cattle pen, which involves putting concrete panels in, all stuff like that. So stay tuned, and you'll see that develop today but um, yeah anybody wants any merch justheels.com hats uh hoodies t-shirts all that stuff business oh the great british weather it is raining again and i've not got my coat on but anyway we'll get it sorted right i'll jump in the uh daff and we'll get these cattle loaded and he's a legend he's got my coat i'm getting a bit concerned when you're driving through the water yesterday it was a maniac wasn't it <laughs> Oh. I think Andy were worrying a bit through that flood water yesterday, quite rightly so. Um, and I think just because Ben had gone through it like multiple, multiple times that day, it was like blasting off away from Andy. Um, so <laughs> Andy's beginning to slow down. Right, anyway, um, Andy's just getting sitting off now with the TM. So I'll get these took and get out of everybody's way. Farm services, the big 8RX is in the back there. What a beast. I'm not stopping again. We've already been once. We went yesterday. So I'm back in the yard now. Looks like they've um, been doing a mix. It's chucking it down. Yet again, yet. I'm so glad them cattle are off. It's coffee time. I'm using John Deere Mig's muggy. That he sent us. Good, though, isn't it? Not sponsored or anything, but it's a pretty cool way to um, carry stuff out easily than a Anyway, don't spill it. So, and look at that one licking itself. Andy's um, just blowing the straw in here, bedding these guys up. He's already done a lot of these today. I'm now just in here. We're going to um, set this pen up. Got some gates to put there and some panels and some there. Then we're going to take this straw wall out that we've had um, in for a long time. I'm going to put concrete panels at the back of here and then we're going to remove this concrete wall that's here behind these bales and make it into one massive pen for the grazing cow. So, in a second, we'll get that back um, into the barn out of the way because we're going to have to come probably around here with some. 20 foot long concrete panels that I don't want to be getting anywhere near that tractor. Got some light uh, coming through now. Shifting the bales. I don't know if there'll be any rats in here. Should have had a little dog, shouldn't we? Because some of the bales have been there for a couple of years, probably. Um, oh, it's looking a bit... A bit foggy on that camera. All this humidity. Um, yeah, some of them are bust. Like, the rats have been in them and chewed the... Um, took the bands away, so I'm gonna just go in with the bucket and the TM and just tidy that up. Where have they gone? Oh, they're there. We need Pippi here, don't we? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is what a bale goes like. Just turn the beeper off. This is what a bale goes like if you leave it there for about two or three years. I there was a drone, like, just like yeah, jab of the hook. Big mix thrown. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's no use as anything really, it's more like, it might as well just be manure, but um, it just helps out down there, it's getting a bit wet, let's drop it in, builds the level up a bit. So in here, we've got it all opened up now, the bales are out, Andy's going to come around and shift that one, and then what we need to do is just make sure this point to this point is level. Dig a little bit so that that water pipe doesn't get trapped when we put the panel in. Same at this side, make sure this is level. Then we'll fetch the panels round, measure them first, measure the gaps, measure the panels. Lift them into position, two high, same as that. We've got a nice windbreak then for the cattle at the back to keep them sheltered. And there's plenty of airflow can come through at the top. And I mean, it's pretty sheltered by these straw stacks that are here. Um, but yeah, no, it works out quite well. We get a lot of airflow into these um, into these sheds. We've got our laser level that we bought a number of years ago, saved us a lot of money. Is that? Um, 
and we took the level off the bottom of this panel but because the shed floor rises up we're gonna have to dig it out so we, the panels stay level on top because we want it to look nice and tidy so that's what I'm doing now Andy's just guiding me in and then we're gonna uh, take the level I could use a digger but it's on the trailer and to be honest it's just as quick just to do this with the TM Andy what, what are you lying down on job for? Oh, yeah. <laughs> finding the um, the lid for the mono yeah, so I've just shifted some of the concrete panels because we had to shift some to get to them and now I've got one on here but of course I need to pick it up from the other side because that's the way this works um, which is a bit of a pain but you know we'll live with it and then we'll take it down there and hopefully we should be able to get some walls up but I'll drop this off here and then come around the other side and pick it up and then we'll have the top to the top when we put it up against the wall these lifting chains as well Take them down there concrete walls are absolutely brilliant so you just bolt a bracket on there that logs onto the it like logs onto the girder and then there's bolt holes there which lock on the lifting things that we can use to um, pick it up with the chains 20 foot long so we're just trying to get it through luckily there's a gap in the gate and we're through so then we'll get these um We'll get these bits bolted on and we can lift it with the chains then into position. I think Connor off for a new bubble foot level. <laughs> yeah, and then we're just going to get these tightened up now. So that's one in, we're just pushing it up and then put in the clamps. Looks like we've got a leak on the gutter though. Um, and those hold it in place. And we'll backfill that in, backfill in at this side. Jobs are good in. Well, one down, three left to go. And we'll get this round, of course. Again, I'm at the wrong side, so I need to just switch it over. Got a love hate relationship going these panels in for me. I don't actually like the job of doing it, but I love like the job of creating a new cattle pen and feeling like we're expanding and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a funny one. I love putting sheds up. Don't particularly love the actual doing it, but when you're finished, I suppose it's like running or small like that, it's like, um, afterwards you're like, I've achieved some of that, that's good. So, um, yeah, that's how I'm gonna feel when we've got all these up. So let's get it done. But, how much? Well, be tough, it? Andy reckoned it weighed five ton. I mean, this is a TM320S Andy, it only lifts 3.2 ton. I don't know, it'd be like, Two ton or something, maybe a bit more. I could have run off at Weybridge and found out, couldn't I? But I didn't. So that's another wall in. We'll just get that bolted up. Because we dug it in a bit, but yeah, you probably would. If it were ideal, you'd have your floor level, wouldn't you? But like, there's that much gradient on the site, and we didn't have like the digger at the time, so it was just like the like, the gradient comes on the floor inside the shed sure builders are gonna say don't do it that way joe you should have leveled your site you should have done this this and this well it would have cost money that we didn't have at the time to do things like that and we wanted a, a, a shed up to house some cattle and some hay and straw so um and it works you don't tell you don't tell day to day that it's not like yeah, it's fine, perfectly it? level it's a far exactly it's a far <laughs> you make things work we're not we're not like yeah Housing water where it's been better run. than my lodges. <laughs> and he's Mr. Perfection, and there's some sealant gone in his lodges, and he wants swapping. No, there's lots of things. Well. Oh, there's a lot of things. Okay. But they're going to be available to rent very soon. I said when rent. they're right. You, do call, you don't call it renting, do you? I mean, holiday. Let's. Let's. That's it, holiday let's. When they're right, yeah, when Andy's got his grass growing and. Yeah, when the cladding's been sorted and the roof's been sorted and, yes. It's stressing Andy out. Mm. It's stressing Andy out, let me tell you that. Right, um, we'll get on with doing a bit more here then. Stress-free 
yeah. zone, stress free zone. Now I've got to move all these top ones because, of course, they're in the way um, to get to the right sized ones at the bottom. And she knows about it. I'm going to lower it down so we're close to the ground. So there must be a fair bit of weight in these two. It's getting there with two walls in. It'll look better when there's two more. Looks good from this side. It's better than bales anyway. It's pop, fizzy, fizzy celebration, you see, for putting these walls up. Time, that's what I call it. Um, hey, there's one. Do you know what council pop is? It's not this, by the way. But um, I don't know if it's a, a Barnsley thing or if it's a uh, UK wide. But yeah, if you know what council pop is, let me know in the comments or if you've got other words for it, let me know. That's it. Looking good. There we go, back wall sorted. So then we just need to move these concrete panels here to this side, along here, so cows can't eat the hay. Put a few gates in. Andy's got his new gates on the front, so we're all happy with that. A few feed troughs, ring feeder, then all them have got double the space. Happy days. So we're just fetching in now bits of tarmac, just to fill in the gaps where we've dug out of the hole. So we're in amongst the cattle, feeding them out now. Um, yeah, we might have a, a reasonable finish tonight. In tomorrow's video, what we'll do is we'll get Pip out and we'll maybe do a bit of ratting um, when we take these panels out, because they will be literally full of rats. Um, so we'll take them out, move the panels across to the other side. And then, yeah, pretty much the job will be done in there. We've done it. Like, that was the main job, getting those getting those back walls in, getting them level and making a bit of a job of it. So, yeah, happy with the progress today. The other really good thing about putting the panels into the floor, when you push on them, you're pushing against the floor. So, like, we shouldn't have any... Um, mistakes should we say like we did the other day when i pushed that panel out um yeah if you want to look back in the videos i can't remember which one it was but somebody will probably link it in the comments or something um yeah i pushed down a wall with this beast but um we won't push that one down i'm, I'm sure of it i'm pretty sure so we're we gonna put that on straw blower tomorrow randy Aye. are you gonna put that on straw blower tomorrow Oh, you've cleaned it really well. Good, isn't it? <laughs> it's funny though, I couldn't get the spray to get on the glass. That's where the seats were. <laughs> oh, so yeah, don't know really what's happening with this yet, but um, I'm sure we've been around it. The fire retractor, it's not been assessed. It needs to go in and have a look at it. Andy's going wax on, wax off. 2020 clear. 2020 clear. For the uh, wax on, wax off fans. She's mucky, isn't she? In your jet wash, really. So the sun is setting and we're just feeding out these guys. You alright? <laughs> it's wagging his tail. Um, so yeah, pretty much getting towards the end of the day. Just cleaning up mixed dimensions from here. We could wax our head, Andy. And he's done all this, and he's not even you changed were, the talk. You were stood there and could have told me. Hey, change it for me. Um, so it's six thousand eight hundred and sixty-seven with rays now, mm. which is great. Um, go on, Connor. Are you reading them out? Uh, right. All right. Go. Oh, oh. Cut, cut. cut. This, is, this is part of video, Connor, where we wish people happy birthday. Alright, oh, alright, I've got it. Alright, Eric Wallace, happy 15th birthday, mate, from uh, GCS. Yep, Michelle, yeah. Michelle at GCS sent that through, yeah. business. And uh, Nancy Pickles, a big eight. Eight. Milestone birthday, well done. My <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks to everyone, and if you want to get your name in the video, then there's a link in the description below. Fun, aren't they, when you're eight? Everything is exciting. Everything is new. 
Um, yeah, he is to be an eight again. Um, thank you everyone who has watched um, today's video. Um, sorry it's not been drama filled. We're just building a new shed uh, for the cattle, but that's life on the farm. Like we're trying to expand the farm, trying to grow it and yeah, it's, um, yeah, I like it. It's successful. Like I said, I don't like doing it and uh, I don't like putting them walls in, but I like it afterwards when we've got a new cattle pen. Like, don't start. <laughs> Um, I've already mentioned that in the video. I knocked one down the other day. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching everyone. If you want merchandise, Andy's maybe got some online. He's probably not no, put it up yet. yet. <sighs> don't have time, Dad. Don't have time. Crazy bulk up. We're finishing early today. Well, I've got to go down south. He had a long walk last night. That's what he yeah, did. I'll go and pick some bits up tonight. Have you really? Yeah. Uh, and it, oh, exciting? Oh, YouTube exciting? No. No. Oh. <laughs> anyway, right, maybe we'll find out what Andy's bits are that he's picking up tomorrow. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you later.